Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys swinging by the channel and spending some time with me today. We are gonna be talking about red lures in the springtime of the year, guys. Not about when you wanna use them, but when you wanna put them down. There's a certain time when spring gets along and a certain phase out there that you need to put your red crankbaits down or your red lures in general and pull out a different color. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video. Also guys, a big thank you to everybody that has been subscribing here to The Fishing Teacher. I'd like to encourage you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And also thank you very much for each and every one of you guys that have been using my tackle warehouse links. I put it in the description to order your fish and tackle. By using those links, guys, you're really helping the channel out. So I really appreciate that a lot. Okay, guys, everybody knows that the springtime of the year, you throw red, you know, specifically red crankbaits. People use, you know, square bills, they use flat sides, they use wiggle wars, they use rock crawlers. Red, orange, all that type of stuff is notoriously famous in the springtime of the year, and it is productive. I think a lot of times it gets, I think it gets a little bit too much credit because there's a lot of other colors that actually will outperform a red or an orange. But there's times when these things just sort of stop working. You just don't really do any good them in the springtime of the year. And I sort of want to get into it in today's video a little bit. Now, for me, you, if you guys watch the channel here very much, you know, you hear me talking about water temperature and light intensity all the time. Guys, that's because those are the two most important elements as far as determining lures that you want to use and specifically colors of lures that you want to use. So, and there's a correlation between the two. There's a correlation between their water temperature and the water clarity in terms of the colors that the fish bite. What I have found in my own experience, guys, is once that water temperature starts warming up into the upper 50s, the fish start to get off of red quite a bit during that phase there, and they get more on some type of a shad pattern or more some type of like a, you know, black back or blue black with chartreuse side. They, for whatever reason, they don't bite the oranges and the reds as good once that water temperature starts hitting sort of that 57, 58, close to 60 degree range. There's like a transition that takes place there. Like a lot of stuff in fishing, you can't, you can't really overanalyze or over, extra, over intellectualize it. It sort of just is what it is. And the thing that I go by in my fishing as far as how I, I formulate my theories and what I think is true is what gives me reproductible results year after year after year. And I've noticed the trend over the past 25 years of my own fishing is once that water temperature starts hitting, you know, those upper fifties, they just get off the crawdad patterns. Any old crawdad patterns, whether they're red, orange, green, or whatever, they just sort of get off the crawdad patterns, but specifically off of the red. That's why I like, if you're fishing down at Sam Rayburn Lake in Texas and the water temperature starts to get close to 60 degrees, you're not going to catch as many fish on a red rattle trap, even though that's a famous red rattle trap lake. A lot of times you can go better, do better with going with a you know gold side chrome back or some type of a shad pattern, something like that. So when you want to use red, guys, the most of the time I go to red when the water temperature is anywhere between 45 and 55 degrees. That's my window of water temperature to throw red in. And usually before or after, I'm using some type of a shad or a brighter perch pattern or something like that. Anyway, just a little bit of tidbit of information to file away there, guys. Uh, give, let me know what you guys think about it. See if you guys have had the same experience, but that has been the thing that I think will uh, give you a little bit of an edge there. So hope it helps out. We'll talk later.